If you've got a Ricoh GR3 or GR3X, this is the X version. There's a new firmware update out for both of them, adds a couple of new features. I'm going to update, I've got both of them, I'm going to update the X first, GR3X, and I'll show you how to do that if you've never updated your firmware before, dead simple. Let me go through it with you. So first thing I've done is take out my SD card from the camera. I'm going to put that into my card reader slot on the computer. And then I'm going to download the file, get it ready, and show you the actual process of updating. So let's go to the computer, download the file first of all. Got to agree to all the information and terms, and then we can download the file. And you can see in this case, the file name, gr3x underscore v141.zip. Let me just save that. I'm going to unzip the file. And then I'm going to copy it. I'm using a particular file manager. I'm going to copy it directly to my SD card. And then I can put it back in the camera and I'll show you what we do next. So that's the first bit that we've done. So the next thing, we'll put this back into the uh, card, card, camera. Uh, and it's important that the camera is turned off at this point. So now what I've got to do is when I turn this on, I've got to hold down the menu button at the same time and it will give me an option. So let me do that and I'll try to do this so you can see. It's difficult to do it backwards, but anyway, <laughs> uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this without too many reflections. So I'm going to press the menu button first, then the power on and off. So that will power on. And we've got a message. Let me just check the message. Yeah, so you can see there it's asking me to go from version 1.31 to version 1.41. So I'm going to use the directional um, control pad to move up so that we now highlight the execute and then press OK, the center button here. And by the way, my battery is fully charged, so I'm OK with this. And it's just saying updating. It's going fairly quickly, as you can see. And it's done. That was very quick. So I can turn that off now. And as far as I'm aware, there's a couple of changes. One of the big ones is the zone focus. Uh, I'm just going to pause while I find out what that's for, then I'll tell you what you do with it. And remember, this is the same process that you would use on the GR3 if that's what you happen to have. You just download the appropriate file for the GR3. There are two different files, one for the X, which I've just done, and one for the 3. So we have, as you can see here, three custom settings for white balance. Now, if you're moving from one place to another, that could be useful, probably for the kind of things I do. I don't need it, quite honestly. And the other thing we have is a zone select in the focus selection menu. So let me just go into that and see, because uh, that's interesting. So, OK, let me see if I can show you this. So I'm going to press this button in here to bring up the focus options. And I'm on currently Auto AF, Auto Area. And then third one down is this new AF zone. So when we select that, I've now got a movable zone area. So for example, hopefully, can you see that? It might be too faint, but uh, hopefully you can. But essentially, it gives me a movable frame and whatever's within that frame will be focused. So if I have somebody, let's say I'm doing an interview uh, and somebody's off to the side, I can put the focus area zone over to that side and then it will focus on them and ignore everything outside the frame. So this is effectively a movable uh, frame which we've seen on other cameras. I'm not sure that it's that quite honestly big a deal. I think the issue here is that there wasn't that before. Um, there wasn't an option for a zone focus area before. Um, so I know you can get that on some of the other cameras, um, for example, Fuji on theirs. Uh, I've got the X-T5. The zone focusing area that you can set is quite nice so that if you... For example, where I am now, um, I would want the focus area to be where I am. So that zone would focus on me without... Somebody's coming to deliver me. <laughs> that would focus on me... Uh, without worrying about whatever's over here. If I were in the middle, I can keep it centred, of course. If I'm on that side, I can just move the zone area over. So whether that's of use to you, I don't know, but hopefully the firmware update part was of some use. 
Uh, and remember, GR3 and GR3X, it's the same process for both. You just have to make sure you get the right file. Check the links below for the description and link to the firmware files. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.